so I'm going to do a quick review on these two little car fans, 12 volt fans. One is this little mini fan, bought for about eight bucks, and the other one is this Max Burton turbo fan. Just because I didn't see a lot of reviews on this one specifically. This one you can buy under anybody's name. Uh, many different manufacturers make it, but it looks like it's made from the, all the same factory. It turns and it swivels and goes around. And so you have a single switch that turns it on. Pretty decent air. You can see on the drapes back there. If I aim it, it's very directional. Like, yeah, hopefully, you can see the drapes moving a little bit there. Very directional, one speed, pretty quiet, very low power. It only burns up like 0 .0, sorry, 0 0.25 amps, which is like 3 watts of current. Um, this other one, I'm doing this real quick, has a variable speed. It burns up 10 times the amount of power, up to 30 watts or 2.5 amps. Now, this thing, same thing, it's got a clamp, it's got a bracket, um, clamps on, it can swivel around, you can turn it. It's got a variable control here, which is good and bad, depends on your needs. Has a little bit of a squeal at low speeds. I guess that's just the uh, variable speed. And, but when you crank this up, sounds like a hair dryer, but does it ever move air? Like, look, at the, look at the drapes. Very loud, but very good. Um, different uh, purposes for both. I mean, I'm getting these mostly for camping. This would be good if you're sleeping or you just need a little breeze, kind of quiet. This would be good if you have an exo a, a little vent window in the back of your tent, set it up on a tripod, crank it on, and it'll suck a whole bunch of hot air out. But you're not sleeping with this. You're not leaving this on long. The other idea I got this for was for my boat, for my son. You can swivel this head around. I can clamp this onto the front of my trolling motor. And if bugs are bothering him, he can turn it up to whatever level of air he wants. Now, that's kind of loud on a boat if you're fishing, but there's so much other boat noise on boat traffic. And if bugs are all over you, this will definitely blow them away. So that's one of the ideas I'm doing with this fan is hook it up on the boat. He can pick his speed. And if they're really bothering him, crank it up. And Like I said, on the drapes there, really moves the air. They're both very directional fans. In other words, they pretty much just set up like a beam of air like that. And that one's nice and gentle. I'm going to put these in the back seat of the car for the kids. I got two of them. And But this one, wow, like, this one really cranks. Really loud, but some guys in the construction business don't care about loud. They say it's on a tractor or whatnot, and I'd... It's so damn noisy in the construction site, doesn't matter. They'll go with this one. This one was 20 bucks Canadian. This one was 8 bucks Canadian. $7.99, $19.99. Both work great. I'm keeping them both. I like them both. Both have different purposes, but uh, especially one to do one on this Max Barton one, which goes sells under different names. Because um, there's not a lot of reviews on this. There's tons of reviews on this little guy, but not a hell of a lot on this. But the variable speed and uh, the horsepower that's cranking, something else. Look at that, I almost blew the package off the table. Actually, just gonna move the package. But um, both great little fans, I like them both.